Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Oh my God. <laughs> Today is Friday. Uh, good morning. Sorry. I'm really ahead of myself. <clears throat> my name is Diana. I'm going to be with you today giving this webinar. Okay. Happy, happy Friday to all of you. Please let me know if you can see my screen, if you can see my cursor moving around, and of course, if you can hear me, okay? So we can start with this uh, presentation, okay? Remember, you can contact me through the chat window. You can just say, yes, I see it. Thank you, Ms. Andrea, uh, Mr., sorry. Um, just let me know if you can hear me, okay? We can just continue. Thank you, Mr. Serge, excellent, okay. So today uh, we are going to review, well, first of all, I do hope that everybody is okay, safe, um, being taken care of you and all your family as well. Uh, we, are, we know that this is like difficult times, but we are going to get through this, okay? Now, today we are going to review something that in the past couple of weeks you have asked a lot through the chat or uh, on the email, okay? We are going to review the, the tasks that you want to complete through the templates, okay? And also a very important thing that is the combo of tasks. Remember that you can schedule with us combo of tasks, for example, let's say that you want to schedule one contract to be sent tomorrow or well, on Monday, and then the next day an email, the two days after another email, three days after another email, or maybe make a call and a text message all together. You can do that here on the system, okay? That is something that we are going to review today through the templates that you create in your account. Now, I'm going to enter directly to my account. Remember, you just need to log in and the system will take you here to the control panel, okay? So you have different templates in your account that you can do, okay, and that you can manage. First of all, we need to enter the main product, Reafax. In my case, I have Reafax Professional, okay? So I have access to vacant properties. I have access to, or the ability to make calls through the system as well. A part, of course, that I have my follow-up, my tasks, emails, contacts, and everything. So I'm going to do a quick search, okay? For things that I want to have in my uh, templates. So. Let's do today a search for properties that are off market, okay? So I just need to select here public records and then under the public record square below this dotted line, I just scroll down a little bit and where it says for sale, I select for sale no, okay? That way I can find off market properties. I want to do this uh, in Miami Day. I'm going to stay in this county, but you can try in a different one. I want to select type, um, I'm going to select condos, okay? So I want to look for condos that are for market in Miami-Dale, and I want this to be probate. So I select right here, probate yes. That is all I need to do on the general searches. But of course, I if I want to have the complete uh, probate information, or maybe the recent cases of these probates, then I need to select a date, okay? So I go right here, again, below the dotted line, I open the filter for the probates and I'm going to scroll down until I see the published date. So I want to see the probates for only this year. So I'm going to select something um, equal or greater. This is like we are saying since the day that we are going to select until today, okay? So I'm going to open it right here and I'm going to go back to January this year, January 1st. So I'm going to look all the probates, okay? There are off market, there are condo towns and villas, okay? In Miami-Dale, since January until now, the first day of January this year. That is how I can do a simple search, safe search, okay? If I want to save these parameters as a template, I just need to go right here at the top, okay? Where it says manage search, and I can just save these parameters Okay, creating a new template right here, a new search. So I just click right here and I'm going to use this as a probate, probate uh, condos since January 
Okay. And I can copy and paste the same thing right here on the description and save it. So let's say that tomorrow I want to do um, the same search or find these parameters that I already create, okay? You again just need to go to manage search and find it that through the name that we created, okay? So I'm going to use the first word that I created with, so probate, and I just need to look for that on the list. It's right here, see? I select that and load, and now my template or the template for the search parameters that I create on the manage search is going to be right here. Now I only need to do the search. So let's click on search, the search icon open right on our screen, and that will take us to the results right here. I'm going to work today only with the first fifth, uh, five properties right here, okay? So I select the first five properties, and now, this is where you need to start adding everything to your follow-up or maybe to a mailing campaign if you want to use the templates and you want to do any tasks, okay, through the system, good? So I'm going to select these five properties and I'm going to, first of all, add them to my follow-up, okay? I'm going to go right here, or well, actually I'm going to work with the probates. We are going to work today only with a mailing campaign, okay? Why is that? The probates, as you can see, they are blue properties. The blue properties are completely off market or properties that are maybe uh, brown. They are also off market. That is what I selected in my search, okay? Off market properties. So this meaning that these properties are only with the owner or the only information that you will have is the owner information. Or in the case of the probates, you will also have the attorney information. Let me show you really quick. I'm going to click this property right here, property number one. And right here, the last tab, okay, for the probate, this is the probate information that I was telling you about. So the probate case number representative. The representative, you will see that you only have name and mail address. And the attorney, you do have a email address so you can send an offer right away to the attorney, okay? Not to the agent because again, the property is completely by the owner is off mark. In this case, this old property is also a pre-foreclosed property. And I can see the case right here. It was, uh, the lease pendant became public on January, okay? So that is what you can see here on the overview. But because I want to uh, use the mailing campaign and I actually want to contact the representative, I don't want to contact the attorney, so I can add these five properties to my mailing campaign and I can create a new campaign right now. So I'm going to select these five properties. I'm going to click what it says right here, add new campaign. I'm going to put this with the probate name. Probate condos since January. That is the name of my campaign, okay? That is how I am saving these five properties in my mailing. So I just add my properties. Excellent. Let's do a different search now. Um, let's say that now I want to look for properties that are pre-foreclosed. And I want to find properties that are pre-foreclosed, but the, those properties are for sale, okay? So let me clear this again, clear all the parameters. I'm going to stay again on uh, Miami-Dade. If you want, you can select a different one. I'm going to look again for condos. Now I need to select properties that are for sale, okay? So remember these ones are listed with an agent. So we have the full contact information for the agents. We can send offers right, right now. But I also want these properties to be pre-foreclosed and the same as the probates. If I want to find recent cases for those pre-foreclosed properties, now I need to go under the dotted line and select, for example, right here, okay, on this, open this filter for foreclosures and select the file date filter. So again, if I want to see all the, only the pre-foreclosed that were uh, registered from January until now, let's say, for example, I just go and click, uh, cre sorry, equal or greater and go back to January first, okay? And right here, I have my search, okay? Remember, because you are selecting properties that are for sale, if you want, you can as well go to the for sale filter 
and select a listing price. Let's say that I'm ready to invest, but I'm not going to invest more than, I don't know, $600,000. So I can select that from here, equal or less, and $600,000. That is another way that you can narrow your searches. Again, you can save these parameters in a template right here on your manage search, okay? But I'm going to only look for this, so let's do the search. The previous search that we did about the probates, I just add, added those to my mailing campaign, okay? For I, so I can use the templates for that. But these five, I'm also going to work only with these five properties right here at the top. These five, I'm going to add them to my follow, okay? So right here, go to follow up. I'm going to add them as prospecting. Okay, remember that you might have different types here and I'm going to add them as that type. But these are going to be now in my follow-up and the last ones were only, or, sorry, I only add them to my mailing campaign. Any question guys about these um, things that I show you? Let me know, please. Remember, you can contact me through the chat or through the Q&A part of the system. I can see your questions and reply to those. Excellent, no questions so far, so let's continue. Okay, so now that I have add properties to my follow-up and to my mailing campaign, I can just check those out, okay? So today, April 24, these are the five properties that I just added right here with the listing prices, okay? They are right here. We are going to use these ones later. And right here on my mailing campaign, on my next, uh, sorry, on my left side, the screen, you will see that today, okay, this is the name of the campaign that I created with five properties only. Today, the creation of this campaign. Excellent. Now, let's go directly to the templates. The templates is where you are going to create an email template, an SMS template, a letter template, or the task template, and this is the combo of tasks that you can create to manage those properties from your follow-up and to manage those, those properties that you want to contact through a mailing campaign, okay? I see a question, what is the difference? Okay, on the follow-up, you can add properties as, let me go back here really quick, let me select this property again. Whenever you want to select a property from your results and click on follow-up right here at the top, the system will ask you, to add them as a type, okay? Buying, selling, prospecting, or if you are an agent, then you can also add them as a listing. This is only the way that you want to add these properties to your follow-up, okay? And if I go to my follow-up right here, you will see that I have some with a B inside, that is for buying, with an S inside, or a L or a P, okay? It's only the way that you can decide how to separate this status, okay, on your follow-up. If I want to change it, I just click on one and maybe select a different status right here from my follow-up. It's only like um, identification, okay? They like say that these properties are prospecting, others I'm interested in buying them, uh, other ones uh, are, are the properties that I am, I have listed, okay? That is the, the definition, uh, Jim. Okay, so let's go back again to the template. Okay, so let's create really quick an email template. Remember that the ReFX, it gives you this default email, okay, that you can use or Arthur if you want to, okay, it is right here. But if you want to create your own email, so that email will have attached maybe the contract that you are sending through the follow-up or any information that you want to attach, you can have it, okay? If you want to create a new email template, you go right here and click on the add template icon on the plus sign. And I'm going to put a name first of all for this template. So this is for a first offer. Oops. First offer. That is the name of my template. Now this is the subject that the template is going to have, the email, sorry, is going to have the, the, the subject that they are going to receive whenever they um, read an email from me, okay? So my, I'm just going to paste something that I have already done here, okay? 
So this is a subject, cash offer for property located at. And I can use the variables that the system allows me. So the email will auto populate all the information there, okay? So I click on variables and I go to, let's say property address because I want to see, I want the address to be there right here on the subject. So property address, I need to leave a uh, space comment space, then I'm going to use the city. I'm also going to use the state. Put another comma here. And I'm going to use the zip code. You need to remember that you need to leave the spaces between the variables so they will work correctly, okay? So this is the information that they are going to read. The, that is going to be auto populated whenever I send this email, okay? They are not going to read this, they are going to read the actually address, city, state, and zip code of the property. And now for the body of my email, I'm going to use this as well. I'm going to paste it because I have it ready or right here. So dear, and here is the, um, the variable that I can also add for the people, the person that I'm contacting. Okay, so for example, if I'm going to send these five properties that I added, they are listed with an agent. So right here, I'm going to contact the agent and I can use the variable for agent's nickname right here. So it's going to be directly to that agent. I check, I check your property located, located at, and I'm also going to use the same variables that I have here before, so property, right here, property address, property city, estate, and zip code. Again, I'm just going to put the separations here, comma, spaces, whatever you want to, and that's it. Let me put this now here. I am very interested in buying it, attached to this email is my offer, okay? I will be attentive to your reply, best regards. Now, I, you can also add, variables so the system will uplay, up, up the, sorry, will auto-populate your name, your last name, and your email, and your phone number. And also you can add your company logo right here as an image, okay? So they will have that email completely set up. So I'm going to use my name that is for my user, okay? So username right here, I'm going to leave a space, user last name, so it will auto populate that from my account information, my profile information. I'm going to use a break line. And now if I want to use my email and my phone number, so they have it here as well on the email, you can use the variables that are called follow up email, okay? And follow up phone number, follow up phone, okay? So those are the ones that I want to use. And also I want to add right here, my logo company, okay? So I just put the cursor here, I just located, and now I need to go to a website that is called postimages.org, okay? So I have it here open as well. This is the website. You can copy that if you want to. Postimages.org is where you can upload an image that you already have, like your logo company already have in your computer, add it here and then add it to ReFX in your template. Let me show you. You click right here where it says choose images. It will open the tab on your computer where you just need to go and select the image that you want to upload and it will be right here. See, this is the image that I had in my computer and I'm just opening it right here. So the upload have been completed. Now I only need this direct link that is right here. This is the link that I need. And to copy this link, I just click right here at the end of the line, okay, on this icon. It will say copy it. And now I just, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I just go back to ReFX, okay, where I left my template, my email template. And here is where I can add that image, okay? So I go right here to this icon that it says insert edit image click on it, and here I need to paste the, um, with control V, remember, in your computer, in your keyboard, control V as on Victor, you can paste. I just 
uh, click on the source, copy the link, images description, copy the link. You can change this dimension if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it like this and click on okay. Now I have my image right here, my logo company. And from here, you can just maybe edit this, put it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever you want. But the image is going to be there as well, okay? So I have my cash offer, okay? My, my fair offer email template done. Now I just click on save and I have it right here, okay? And I can select this one to be the default template on this um, star that you see upper right, set this one as default. So whenever I use, uh, from the follow-up, uh, whenever I want to send a contract, an email, this will be the first one that I'm going to use, okay? Any question, guys, about how you can create an email template? Remember, you can contact me through the chat and through the Q&A part of this uh, Zoom meeting. Okay, no questions. I'm going to create really quick another email because this one is about my first offer. But what if I want to just send an email? Okay, this one is going to have my contract attached. But uh, two, three days later, so two days later, I want to send only an email that it says, did you receive my offer? Like a follow-up type of email. So again, I just click on add right here. And I can just put this one that is going to be a follow-up. Okay, follow-up on an offer if you want. Like this. Again, I'm going to paste something that I already have done here. That is the subject of my email so now this one is going to say did you receive my offer for property located at and again i just need to use the variables so i go right here again variables it will be right here and i just go to property everything is organized by alphabetical order okay so property address property city state and zip code really quick so i just put here comma space space no, right here is comma space and right here is only an space okay so let's go to the end okay so this is a question did you receive my offer for property located at and the actual address of that property is going to auto populate there now on the body of my email i also have something already done okay so i'm copy that and paste it here so dear again who am i um, am i contacting i am contacting again the agents because those five properties that i already added to my follow-up are listed for sale but it will depend on you if you want to contact the owner if you already have the email for an for an owner remember that the system doesn't bring that information you need to call the owners ask for an email and then add it to your contacts and then you can use a variable that is called owner's name. So it will auto populate the owner's name right here. Or if you are uh, uh, contacting an attorney, you can also go and look for the attorney variable, attorney's name right here, okay? So it will auto populate that name right there on your email template. But because I'm contacting the agent, so I can use the variable for agent's nickname. I hope this email find you well. I send you a contract with an offer to buy the subject property. Have you, ha uh, have you had the opportunity to review it? Let me know your thoughts on this matter. I'll be attentive to your reply, best regards. And again, right here, I can upload my logo company, okay? If you don't close this uh, tab in your browser, you will have it already right here uploaded, okay? So you can just, again, copy the direct link okay on the post images and i can go back here and I just add it so insert image again copy right here copy right here this will auto populate the dimensions just click on okay and then right here if you want to put this a little bit bigger or small okay smaller you can just manage that from here now again i'm going to use my variable, so it will auto populate my information on my email template. I go right here to user, so it will be user's name, that is me, Diana, and user last name, it will be 
Lopez. And then I just go and use the follow-up email and follow-up phone number. So it will auto populate my information right here. Follow-up email, follow-up phone number. And that's it. I have another email template done. So I just button, button left, click where it says save. Okay, so I will have three email templates. The default that ReFX give me, the first offer that I can use whenever I send a contract, the follow-up on an offer, so I can just do follow-ups uh, days before I have sent the first offer, okay? I can do exactly the same with my SMS templates. Remember that through the system, you can send text messages if you want to contact these agents or, I don't know, attorneys, owners, if you have their, their cell phone numbers. You need to make sure that the, on your follow-up, the contacts have a cell phone so you can send the text messages through here. The system will give you this default template, okay? But again, if you want to create your own template and if you want to add images to those uh, SMS templates, this is something that you already have asked uh, these past weeks to us. I'm going to show you how. So go right here again, upper right, where it says add. So we can add a new template. Put a name for your template. So I'm going to put this one. It's going to be called um, follow-up SMS, okay? This is a text message that I'm going to use in my account to send a text, of course, to send a text a message after I have sent the contract, okay? So I'm going to put that name there. And this is the body of the SMS. Again, I have it ready, okay? You can just write down whatever you want or if you have something that you have um, designed already, write down already, copy and paste it here. Remember, you cannot use your right icon here. So if you want to copy in your computer, Control C as Charles, and then to paste, it will be Control V as Victor. Now, again, who am I contacting? I'm contacting the agent. Okay, so I can open right here, I'll click on variables, and I can use again, agent's nickname. I can use the variable for my property. Property right here. So property address, city, state, and zip code. I'm going to put, oops, right here, comma, space, comma, space, and only we are here, and a space. So I send you an email, Sorry, I send you by email an offer for property and all the information about the property will be auto populated. Let me know when we can talk about this matter, reply to this SMS or call me. Again, you can add this, say this if you want to, for example, my number 369, if you want to, okay? But if you have your information company set up in your profile, I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes, you can use the variables that I have told you, okay? So I can go right here. And you can also add images. Again, if you have your, your logo company, okay? Right here on already open. If you don't, if you close it by any chance, I'm going to show you again how quickly it is. You can just go, I have a save it in my favorites, okay? This website, postimages.org. Click on choose images. It will open a tab in your computer so you can go to your computer wherever you have saved that image, okay, or the logo company. It could be in a PNG type of file or it could be in a JPEG type of file as well, okay, the image that you have. Just upload it and now you need to copy the direct link right here. Copy, go back to ReFX and right here you need to go to this icon the icon that it says insert e edit image. Copy right here on the source, copy right here on the image description, click on okay, and that's it. So you can add images to your text messages as well, okay? And again, I'm going to use the variable for my name, user's name, space, user last name, right, black line, and follow up email follow-up email, follow-up phone. Let's put this right here below. See? 
So now I have created two email templates and one SMS template for follow-up. And you can choose right here at the top to leave this one as default. Just click on yes and save it as well. So it will have the start right here at the top, okay? So this will be my default SMS template. If I want to change it, maybe have this one as default, I just click right here on the start, okay? So it will be up to you which one is going to be the default. Any questions about the emails templates and the SMS templates? Let me know. Okay, I have a question. Would you do a template for probate to attorneys or representative? Uh, sorry, Mr. Andrea, I don't work on real estate, so I don't know what you might say to, I don't know, to an attorney or to um, a representative, okay? I'm just creating these ones like with the information that I might want them to see. If you create your own test, remember, you can just add an email template, an SMS template with whatever information is here. I believe that you are a mentor student from DRIA. So you can call uh, Mr. Day Dean Cole, Jim Paplin. They can tell you ideas of how you can create, okay? Or what you can say to attorneys or representative about the probates, okay? They have that experience that we don't have, so sorry. Let me know if that um, help you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so no more questions, let's continue. Now I'm going to create, actually I'm going to leave this one for the end, okay? The letter template. Letter templates are the ones that we are going to use for mailing campaigns. I'm going to leave this one for a few minutes uh, from now. Let's go directly to the task template. Here is where you can add a combo of tasks, okay? that you can use directly to your follow-up. How can you do that? Okay, I have one here already created, but let's say that I want to start one from the beginning, okay? And if even if you want to delete anything that you have here, that you have previously created, because for these ones, the system is not going to give you a, a default, okay? This need to be from your own creation. So let's say that I want to delete this one. Remember that you have the tools right here to delete or to modify, you have the pencil as well. Do you want to delete this template? Yes, it is an action that I cannot undone, okay? Now, I just click right here where it says add template, and I can start adding the template that I want. So, let's say that, let's put a name, first of all, for this. This will be a combo of a contract or document, okay? So, contract, Let's say one contract. It will have uh, also two emails that I want to send. It will have a SMS that I want to send. One or two, it will depend on you, on how many tasks we are going to add. And also another one about make call. Now, this combo is only one time. Okay, so it's not something that the system is going to do for you every week or every month or something like that, okay? As soon as the contract has been sent, as soon as the two emails have been sent, as soon as the SMS and as soon as the call has been completed or scheduled, that's it, okay? Whenever these tasks are done, then you need to create again or schedule this combo again, but this can, work with you maybe for a complete week if you want to schedule the tasks, okay, to be automatically made through the system, most of them, because remember that the calls is something that you can only do uh, through the system, or if you don't have professional dialer, then you can make the calls in your cell phone and just add the notes here after, okay? But you can schedule those tasks, so it will be on your pending tasks that you can review every day. Again, I'm going to select this one to be my default template right here. And now I just need to add the tasks that I want. So I click on add right here. And remember, there are two types of execution. Automatically, the system will do it for you regardless if you are connected or not, okay? For the time that you schedule the task. And manually, the task is going to stay pending until you complete the task yourself, going to your tab tab right here on your left, okay, and complete them. Now, I'm going to start scheduling these tasks. The first thing that I want to is to send the contract, okay? So, 
the contract. I'm going to select send document. So it will be my contract. When do I want to send the contract? For example, today is Friday and I'm going to send this con the five properties, remember, that we added at the beginning to my follow-up. I'm not going to send the contracts today. I'm actually going to send those on Monday, okay? But that I will decide it after. So right here I can just say, for example, leave everything in zero. Zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. And this will be first oops, first offer. And that's it. This is only a detail, a note for myself. Click on create. And now the system is going to take you to your documents, okay? Remember that you need to have your contracts already upload in your account. So you can choose what is the contract that you are going to send to those properties. I'm going to work with one from Drea again. This is a, an, a, sorry, an as if far bar type of contract. Remember, if you want to send these contracts in your combo, with any additional documents, for example, the lead based pen disclosure that you should send, okay, because in the contract state that you are sending that as well. But if you also want to send maybe your proof of fund or your earnest money deposit with your title company, whatever it is, you just need to select those right here or deselect them. It will be up to you, okay? Let's say that I'm only going to send this contract with the, the lead based pen disclosure. And I'm actually going to say my earnest money deposit, okay, with Florida by Cider Company. This is the contract that I'm going to send. Remember, this is something that you already have done. Your contract templates are already done in your account. So if you are with, uh, with RIA, if not, we can teach you how you can work with your contracts. Initial deposit, you can change it here. You can change inspection days as well. If you want to change the accepting days and closing day, you can do it, okay? For example, I can modify this and put 10, and I'm sure I'm going to send this as my initial deposit. This is the information that is going to appear on my contracts. The seller information is going to be auto-populated on the contracts as well. Now I just click on email, and here is what I'm going to use, those email templates that we created just a few moments ago, okay? So this is the, con the template for my first offer that I have less uh, uh, as default. So this is the email that is going to have the contract that I already select attached. Click on create tasks and that's it. I have here my first offer that is going to be sent out as soon as I schedule this task, okay? Now I'm going to click on add a new template, a new task, sorry. So again, I'm going to leave it as automatically, but I'm going to select this one as an email. I'm only going to send an email. When I'm going to send this email? I'm, I want to send it maybe one day or two days after I have sent my first contract. So I just click right here on two, number of days, two, and that's it. And this is going to be my first follow-up email. right here. Again, this is only a note for me, so create. Now the system is going to take you right here to your email templates, okay? Again, the default is my first offer email, but remember that we create one for follow-ups, so I just go right here down where it says manage template, click on it, and from the list, I need to select my follow-up on an offer. Click on load, and now this is the email that they are going to receive two days after that I have sent my contract. Did you receive my offer about property with the email and create task? See? So the offer is going to be sent as soon as I sketch the contract. Then an email is going to be sent two days after this contract, okay? I'm going to send as well another email and I can just put it right here automatically send email on my task and this email is going to be also being sent out two days after. Remember, if you don't want to send it two days after, you can just send, I don't know, two hours after. That will be depending on what you want to do, okay? So two days after, I'm going to send a second follow-up email. 
again, I click on create. Because this is a follow up, I can go down and manage my templates. Sorry. And right here from the list, I can select the follow up on and off. Click on load. And again, right here, did you receive my offer? Click on create. Remember, whenever you schedule these tasks, they are going to be automatically done through the system. If in, let's say that we send the contract on Monday, maybe on to Wednesday, they haven't replied, but on Thursday, they did reply. And if you want to delete this task on your combo, you go to your tasks and delete it. I will show you that as well in a minute, okay? So right here, the contract, the two emails, the SMS, let's schedule an SMS text. So automatically send SMS. I actually want this SMS to be sent out one hour after I have sent my contract, okay? So for a follow-up SMS, create. And the template for SMS that I have already designed is right here. So I just click on create task. Do you see this is the order of these uh, tasks? This is the way that the tasks are going to be sent out. So the contract, two days after the first email, two days after this one, the second email, and one hour after this one, the text message. But if you want to move around, for example, I want to put the SMS, I want to be delivered one hour before the contract with these arrows right here, you can just up the task, okay? So now the task is going to be sent out actually one hour before my first offer. Then two days after is going to be sent the first follow-up email and the second follow-up email. And I can also add, make a call. Let's say that I want to make a call and for this, I need to select manual. I can open right here the list for make call. And I'm going to make, I'm going to call this property two hours after I have sent my contract, okay? Just to review with them if they receive it. So, um, or actually no, let's try to do it maybe three days. Right here. Mm, one day, change my mind. So uh, call and okay. create, and that's it. The, this type of call is manually. The system is not going to call for you. Remember that you need to be connected in a headset in your computer to actually uh, speak with them if you have professional dialer. If you don't, then you just schedule your call to make them to your phone and just leave the notes after. But this is my complete combo, see? Contract one, two emails, uh, SMS and make call. If I want to call this property actually the day that I send the contract, again, you just move the task up, okay? So right here, I'm going to send the offer. I'm going to call the property uh, one day uh, after. I'm going to send, sorry, this one is second. I'm going to send, first of all, the email one hour after the contract, call the property one day after the contract, Two days after, I'm going to send a follow-up email, and two days after, I'm going to send a second follow-up email. So this combo is completely done. If I want to save this template, I click on Save right here, and I have my combo already done, okay? So let's see really quick how we can use all the templates that we have created today. Okay, so let's go to follow-up. Let's go back here to our follow-up tab for the properties that we are following. I'm going to select these five properties right here. Sorry. Okay. Remember, you need, first of all, to, set, to create an offer price because you are sending contracts to these uh, properties, okay? Let's say that I already review these properties, okay? I want to send a 70% based on these listing prices as my offer on my contracts. So I select my properties, whatever I want to send, and you can use the Freddy icon if you are a mentor from DRIA, remember? Or you can just use the calculate offer right here. So I'm going to send 70% based on these listing prices 
as my offer, I'm going to round the amounts and click on apply. The offer is being calculated and now you will see the offers right here. Okay, so 70%, 71 for this, okay, to round the amounts. And that's it, these are the offers that are going to appear on the contracts that I want, I'm going to send. If you want to send the contracts right now, at this moment, remember you need to go to this new icon in case that you have your resolution, it's a little bit small. Remember that some features has been added here. Now you can go to a map view from your follow-up to a detailed view from your follow-up. It's really quick, so let me just change the view, see? If you click on detail view, you will see the properties organized like, here, like this on your follow-up. But if you go to a map view, then you will see all the properties in your follow-up on the map, okay? Because these features have been added, okay? Then we can go again, go back to the grid view. And now you will see that the, the icons are inside this one that is a send. So if you want to send the contract right now, click on send document. If you want to send an email right now, send email or a text message. I don't, but don't believe that anybody's using fax these days, but you have that option as well, okay? But if you want to schedule the tasks to do those later, remember that you need to go to a schedule task right here at the top, okay? So right here, I just, I'm going to use the combo only, okay? If you want to use the combo that we create, you can go right here to manage template, select from the list the combo of tasks that you create and click on load. And that's it. Every task is here. And now I just need to select the date that I'm going to execute this task, okay? So today is Friday. I'm going to actually start sending everything next week. I'm going to schedule the, of the, all these tasks to be executed since Monday, Monday at 10 a.m. And I'm going to just to click on create. The tasks are being scheduled and that's it. Click on OK. Now you will see that you have five tasks, okay, pending for each property. Okay? And if you want to see them completely, you go to your task tab on your left side and you can see all the tasks that you have pending here. So all these emails are going to be sent. Let's, let's go this ascending. Okay, so on, a, on Monday, you are going to send five contracts. On Monday, you are going to send five text messages or one to each property right here, okay? To, for these properties, one hour after the contracts were sent. Then, a day before, a day after, sorry, you are going to make calls to all these properties. Remember, if you want to make the calls through the system, select them and click right here where it says complete. And that's it. You can add, you can contact with your professional dialer to all these contacts right here. For, for one else, we will need to have a uh, phone number, okay? He didn't leave a phone number. Then on April 30, you are going to send a follow-up email and on May 2nd, we are going to send and a second follow-up email. The tasks are already done there. We don't need to do anything from here. Let's say that they reply, somebody reply. Let's say that Jose Medina, after we receive, after he received the contract, he replied that he's interested, excellent. Then we can filter right here, click on filter at the top and find Jose with his name. So Jose, click on filter. If I want to delete the tasks, okay, after Jose have replied, I just filter by his name or by the property address, select them, what the tasks that I want to delete, and click on delete, on the delete icon on the trash can. Really quick, really easy, okay? Any question, guys? So we can move on to the last um, template that we have there for letters. The agent will always have a, a, a nickname, okay? If you, uh, if you add the property that is listed for sale to your follow-up, having professional or professional dialer, for example, Mario, 
is going to be added here, see? Agent, and it's going to be added with the leader nickname that is his first name. But if you add a contact yourself, then whenever you edit the contact or add the information, remember that create a nickname right here in your follow-up for your contacts. That way the, the agent will always, always have a nickname. So it will always be auto-populated whenever you send a contract through the follow-up. Because if you send the contract through the overview, then you are not going to auto-populate the agent's nickname variable, okay? So be careful with that. Now let's go really quick to my templates right here again. And I'm going to show you the last one, the letter templates. Remember, this is something that you can use if you are planning to send regular mail to any of these properties, okay? So I'm just going to put this name right here. This is a letter. And I'm going to use this template to contact a representative, okay? So dear, I need to use the variable for representative name right here, see? And I don't know whatever you can might say to the representative, but um, we can try something similar to the other templates that uh, we reviewed before. So let's try maybe with this one. Okay, so this is the information that I want to appear on that letter. So dear representative, uh, I check uh, your property located at, let's change this. And again, let's use the property address variable, uh, city, state, and zip code. Remember, you need to leave comma and spaces between these variables so they will work. I'm very interested in buying it. I'm going to remove this because this is not an email. Let's say, please contact me back. Please contact me back and best regard and I'm going to add it here as well the image okay remember the image that we can add to any template by clicking on this icon so copy sorry paste paste okay this is my company logo and again I can use the variables right here for my information username space user last name break line and follow up email. Where is that? Right here. Follow up email. Sorry. Back line. Back line. And follow up phone. See a letter, simple letter that I want to auto populate. Click on save and you will have your letter template here. Remember to have it as default if you want to with the star right here at the top. And now let me show you how you can auto populate these letters. Remember the campaign that we create and the properties that we added here to our mailing campaign? They are right here. So probates for combos, okay? And I'm going to contact the representative. I just need to click inside this campaign to check the five properties that I added at the beginning. Select them, okay, from here. And right here you have these tools, the labels and the letters. Click where it says mailing letters so we can auto populate these five letters because we have five properties right here. Okay, so select that, click on create letters now, and that's it. The system will create for you a PDF file, okay, with five pages for the five properties with the five letters right here. So this is the first letter that I'm contacting the representative, okay, with that template that we create, see? It is just auto-populating that information. The information for the property is right here as well. This is the template that I create, very simple, with my logo and my information right here at the bottom, okay? So if I go to the second page, well, sorry. I just moved really quick, so sorry. If I go to the second page, now I'm going to see a second letter for another property and another representative right here. Okay? Third letter, fourth letter, and the fifth one. This is how you can 
Auto populate your letters. Now, this is something that you need to do the save, the sending. It will be up to you. You can either auto populate your letters and also auto populate your labels, clicking right here on this icon, upper right as well, where it says labels. You can use these uh, parameters, click on apply. And the labels is something that you can also auto populate through the system. Let me open it for you. And that way you can cut this information pasted on your envelopes and then do the sendings that you want to, okay? By designing your own letters and everything through the system. So here is the information. Uh, of course, let me go back really quick because the labels, if you want to contact the representative, remember that choose instead of owner address, you can choose representative address, okay? And again, click on apply. It will download in your computer that file, that PDS file with the labels for the, in this case, the uh, representative, okay? That was it, guys. That was everything that I wanted to show you today about how you can manage all the templates, okay? Search as templates uh, and the templates for do any kind of tasks through the system. Remember that there are also a couple of templates that you can create, sorry, there are uh, as many templates that you can create either on your follow-up or on your results, okay, right here by clicking on this icon. Let me show you really quick. In my account, I have already several templates created. You can just create one by clicking on new. Let's say that you want to see a different information here on this place about these properties, okay? Create your own letter. Let's, let's, let's let me show you one, sorry, for the owner. I want to see the owner information of these properties that I have here on my follow-up. So after I have created, I click on load, and this will change the display of the information that I can see now. So I can see now owner name, address, phone numbers, and everything. And this template is helpful if you want to download the data. Let's say that I want to download this information about the owner in an Excel file. So remember, 5,000 records that you can download monthly. Click on export, click on export to PDF or click on export to, um, sorry, click on export to Excel and that's it. You can download those files as well from the system. Let me show you really quick one of those files so we can say goodbye for today. So create your grid templates, your SMS templates, email templates, your combo of tasks, and even your letter templates. And you can download the data or create anything that you want to send and to contact the properties that you are managing or the contacts that you have here. I don't see any last questions. Yes, uh, the recording of every Webinars, remember that you will have it on your Reafax account on the website right here, reafax.com. Whenever you are in this page, go to resources, click on webinars, and you will have here all the webinars that we done every Friday at 10 a.m., okay? This is the past webinars right here. And also in our YouTube channel. If you go to this icon on your left that it says YouTube, it will open the the URL for our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash reafax and you will see all the videos for our webinars and short tutorials and everything from here, okay? Well guys, thank you, thank you very much for having me today. If you have questions about anything or want to schedule coachings, one-on-one -on -one coachings with us, contact us, email us, we also are here on, uh, on the screen, okay, on the chat window. Say hello, I want to schedule a coaching and we can have it one with you. Have a great, great weekend. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye.